I was just talking to one of my uh, friends at the gym and I said, you know, one thing I've learned and um, I learned this kind of first about pest control, like I would try to muscle customers into fucking doing things that needed to be done and they just weren't as receptive to my um, sales tech, my, my technique, so to speak. So uh, what I learned was, you know, and this is like what, and I'm dealing this right now with, with someone that I love. Um, you know, you can't manipulate or muscle somebody into getting sober. You know what I mean? Like, you can't. Or they'd be sober. Because I would have got in their shit and headbutted them and they would have fucking came to, came to see the light. Can you not do that, maybe, with your fucking bike, dummy? Um, you have to show them, you know, um, if you love them unconditionally, then love them. You know what I mean? Um... Don't give up. I always used to say to people, don't ever give up on anybody. You know, God's never given up on anybody. Don't give up on it. I and mean, when I hear people like that don't know anything about this say like, oh, well, people never change. Yeah, they don't buy themselves, but they do with God's help. I'll tell you that right now. You know, I used to think the same thing. You know, you have to show them, you know, you have to give them reasons and, and put value in it and encourage them you know not f be frustrated and be like ba -ba -ba -ba, this is the way it's gonna be or else you know or i know a lot more people who would have gotten sober because i've done it and it doesn't work you know i've had people i mean listen you know people after being on pain pills for 10 years and uh, breaking my neck and walking around with a fucking broken neck from not tapping to a rear naked or a fucking side crank neck choke in mixed martial arts, okay? A guy physically broke my fucking neck and walking around like that and having to take pills all the time, I wouldn't have been able to do it. But I tell people all the time, you know, I know what works. Surrendering your life to the one and only God, that's it. You know what I mean? That's it. You know, I threw dirt in front of a bunch of people on my brother's grave, so I'm not fucking around about this shit. You know what I mean? Like, this isn't a, this isn't, well, sorry about your luck, you know, let it be someone else's problem. You know, um, I knew, I knew it. Getting into it, what I was getting into, you know, and, uh. You know, and for people out there that are watching loved ones struggle. You know, now I kind of know, like, what my landlord goes through with her daughter. You know, that she's not harder on her. And, and this, that, and the other thing is because when you really, and I used to throw the word around a little bit, love someone. When you love someone, I must have never loved anybody other than my cats. Um, when you love someone unconditionally... There is no goodbye. There is no leaving. You know, because the thought of, of, you know, what we had or have or whatever, you know, it's like I just couldn't imagine, you know, you know, like I just, you know, you just don't, I mean, you know, I just, other than like infidelity or something like that, you know, like when you love someone, it's unconditional. You know, it's on. It's not even something you have. It's not even something that I chose, or to be honest with you, that I really wanted to fucking do or experience this late in the game. To be honest with you, especially now. But now I know what it is. You know what I mean? And so I can only imagine what God felt when He gave His only Son to come down here and to give you everlasting life and for me to believe that and the sacrifice and all of that stuff that that had to go through you he had to go through and the fact that people can't swallow their pride or have faith or just ask him to reveal himself well i'll tell you you know you think that uh the earth just came here because a couple rocks collided that never existed and there was an ice age and everything else and there's a rover on Mars, I can just tell you, you are sadly mistaken, you know?
especially with what's going on today. I'm just telling you right now. I tell people all the time. It's like when it's like, you know, it's like things I know that work. Listen, if this is important to you, don't mess around. Give your life to God. And I'm telling you, the night that I did and recommitted my life to him, I knew instantly the next day, okay? I knew when I was in jail that he put me there, you know, because he's got that kind of sense of humor. I was telling him, no, I was thinking more like, you know, one of those places that have a massage thing and you can get sushi. Unconditional, you can't manipulate people or control them. Or, uh, you know, I had a friend, a f friend, you know, that, and I've had a couple of people say, you know, why would you let your girlfriend go out to where her ex-husband is to see her kids and let her stay in the same house as as him? And this, and it's not even any other fucking business, really. I mean, but you can have an opinion on it. I really don't fucking care either way. You're not in control of anybody. She could be at a hotel and he could come there. Whatever's going to happen in life is going to happen. I don't sit around and worry all night. I go to bed at 8 o'clock. I'm not fucking tossing and turning about any of this shit. You know what I mean? I don't toss and turn unless my arm hurts, you know? So you can't, I mean, if people are going to cheat, they're going to cheat. If people are, they are. If they're not, they're not. I mean, I don't, you know, like I was telling a friend, I said, well, how do you know what your girl's doing right now? You're here with me at work, motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't know. You don't know. And when people say, and I've said this to people too, well, I would never cheat on you or this. You can't say that, you know? You can't say that because you never know, you know? Humans, we do fucked up things for fucked up reasons, for selfish reasons. And, you know, I, I mean, you know, you're a human, you know? Like, you can't say that I would never do this, you know? You know, I mean, I'm just saying, like, you just, you don't know. Yeah, you're, you're not trying to, but, you know, the flesh is weak. Trust me when I tell you, okay? It's about as weak as I am. With this fucking ferret. Look at this fucking weasel face. That's the love of my life right there. That's, that's, that's my first love. That's, that's, that's what, that's, you know, I'm sad to say it, but that's what, um, that's who changed my life. God and him, that little bastard.